All right, let's move on to chapter six. Here's a division problem. Divide using long division x minus three is divided into two x squared minus seven x plus seven. And we divide one term at a time. We start by dividing x into the two x squared and that value is 2x. Remember we must decide what is it that we can multiply by x to get 2x squared. And we will multiply, in fact we're going to multiply by x minus 3. As we do we get 2x squared minus 6x. Now here's where it gets a little bit challenging because we have to subtract that quantity and you might remember from your reading or whatever that this really means that we must add the opposites so I'm gonna make this into a plus 6x and as we combine what we want to have happen and will happen the 2x squared and the negative 2x squared become 0 negative 7x here and positive 6x is a negative 1x or just negative x and we bring down the plus 7. Now we divide x into negative 1x and that will go a negative 1 times. When we multiply negative 1 times x is negative x and negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Again we're going to subtract which means we will add the opposites. So the 3 here becomes a negative 3 and now we'll add. And When we do the negative 1x and the positive x become 0 and 7 and negative 3 is 4. That is our remainder. And so we write the remainder up here by saying plus 4 over the x minus 3 that we've been dividing by. Number 36 what we're going to do with this is multiply, but really we need to factor each numerator and denominator so that we can see what factors can be divided out. The simplest of all of these is the second denominator, x squared minus 25. That is the difference of squares and factors into a pair of conjugates, x minus 5 times x plus 5. Probably the next simplest one is the first numerator x squared minus x minus 6 because it's a single x and if it factors at all it will be x in the one binomial and x in the other. The other two, the first denominator and the second numerator are going to require more factoring. So we're going to do a lot of this factoring off to the side. Uh, you might want to think of it as being done on scratch paper but let's see what we have to do here. First Let's factor the x squared minus x minus 6. Key number is 1 times negative 6, which is negative 6. And the sum number is negative 1. The numbers that work for this are negative 3 and positive 2. And because this is a simple factoring with a 1x squared, these are the numbers that fit into the binomials that we have over here in the first numerator, minus 3 and plus 2. Now let's factor the denominator 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. Key number is 2 times 10, which is 20. And the sum number is positive 9. And the two factors of 20 that add to positive 9 are 4 and 5. I'm going to let you go ahead and finish this factoring and I'm going to write in what those factors are. So the first denominator factors into 2x plus 5 times x plus 2. I hope you got the same thing. Lastly, we must factor the second numerator, 2x squared plus 15x plus 25. The key number is 2 times 25. And that equals 50. And the sum number is 15. The factors are 5 and 10. And I'll let you do the factoring on your own. See if it's the same thing that I got. All 
Okay, so now we have all four parts factored. And what we're going to do now is simplify from numerator to denominator any common factors that can divide out. For example, I see here x plus 5 and x plus 5 divides out 1 and 1. Um, x minus 5 does not divide out with anything. 2x plus 5 and 2x plus 5 divides out 1 and 1. x plus 2 and x plus 2 divides out. It appears as though I have everything divided out that can be. Now, of course, we have a bunch of 1's that we're multiplying in the numerator times the x minus 3. It appears that x minus 3 is all that's left in the numerator and denominator is x minus 5. And we cannot divide any further. Number 37. Here we have to add two fractions. And whenever we add or subtract fractions, we must have the same denominator, common denominators. Fortunately, that's exactly what we have here in these two fractions. So when we add them together, the denominator, y squared minus 4y minus 5, is the same that we have in the two fractions we started with. The numerators now just add together 1 plus y. We need, though, to factor this to see if we can simplify it all. And the first thing I'd really want to do is to switch the numerator to make it in descending order, y plus 1. The denominator does factor into y minus 5 times y plus 1. And I'll leave that up to you to work out, to, to verify that. Now, in the numerator, we only have one factor, and it is y plus 1 itself. And so when we divide the y plus 1 out in the numerator and denominator, we're left with a 1 up top and a 1 in the denominator. And so the final result here is the fraction 1 over y minus 5. Subtracting fractions is very similar to adding with one major distinction. And that, of course, is the minus sign. And as we've done in a lot of different things, we know that we must change subtraction to adding the opposite. And in this case, this addition and the opposite is of both terms in the numerator here. The x becomes now negative x, and the 3 becomes a positive 3. So now it's just adding fractions with the same denominator, x squared minus x minus 6. The numerators can combine directly, 4x plus 3, and we have a negative x and another plus 3. These combine to become 3x plus 6 over the x squared minus x minus 6. Now that we have the numerator simplified, we can factor both the numerator and denominator to see if we can divide out any common terms. 3 times x plus 2 in the numerator. The denominator, though, it's a trinomial and must factor using the factor game. I'm going to go ahead directly and factor this, and I'm going to ask you to verify that by, by factoring it yourself. This is what we get. And yes, I've taken fewer steps because I didn't do the factoring, so you should do that on scratch paper. But x plus 2 divides out. That's going to be 1 there and 1 here. And what we're left with in the numerator is 3 times that 1, or 3 over x minus 3. Now, this is complete. I know there might be some temptation to divide out the 3's, but we can actually divide out common factors, not common terms. And in the denominator here, that 3 is a term, not a factor.